remember starting writing a thousand cuts. That's what I call it, but it's really called Death by a Thousand Cuts. It was actually written while recording the second to last time we were in the studio. So that must have been while we recorded Heaven Shall Burn. Uh, it's pretty funny because those two songs are just so different. I remember Eddie had like a nice start of the song, like this loop that you hear at the beginning of the song. It was just such a nice thing, like such a nice mantra that you could just listen to over and over and over again. And he had it going in the background while he was writing lyrics for us. And I was like, wow, that is, that is really, really interesting. That's really good. And it was really different from the other songs that we had recorded and released, that like started releasing so far. And we were working on that like simultaneously as writing the new track, but there was just something that didn't really click, something didn't really work out so well. Verse and so we were back and forth with, but but the chorus was just not really there. So what, what I remember that I did is that we came home from the studio this time. I, I played the demo, listened back to it, like all the parts, and I was really thinking that, damn, this is a really good chorus. Just everything behind it is wrong for some reason. Like the, the vocal line and the feeling here is so great, but it's just not clicking. So we just worked on that completely again, you know, with a new approach. Currently behind a big cloth here for some B-roll footage of the video for Death by Thousand Cuts. We've done distance shots, we've done close-ups, we've done all instruments at the moment. And we're here in Riga at this fantastic location to shoot the full video. So really interesting to see how it's going to turn out. I think it's going to be a nice video. I think just trying to, to do something new again here. Uh, we released a couple of tracks that were like really heavy and I think it is like pretty on point for what people might expect from the Eminence release. And um, then we did something like this and we just felt that it worked so well. It was just, it was just there. So when that song was finished, I felt like personally like this has to be a single, you know. It's just such a good track that I think shows completely different qualities of what we can do, what we want to say with, with our music. So I'm super excited to be releasing this track and to play it live and premiere it on our first American tour. And of course, this being the fourth single out, I think most people already understood that there is a new album coming. Um, I think this also this track is really showing more things than um, that people might expect. You know, it's giving something a little bit more than um, than the previous releases. Even though if I'm really really happy with them, so I really hope that you are ex as excited for the new album release as we are. Uh, we're not going to really tell you too much about it at the moment. It really feels incredible to give you more and more like for every release, and uh, yeah. I think that's about what I what I can say.